Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these big sunshine seed beads earrings. I'm showing them really slowly and easy and step by step and you could also ask me anything in the comments. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe because in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank you so much for watching. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. They are black, green, red, orange and yellow. And here I'm using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could also use other beading thread of your choice like nylon thread or fire line. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use only to go through the difficult bit so they are not obligatory. And I also squeeze my thread to go through size 10 beading needle. I squeeze my monofilament to make it flat. If you use other beading thread you might not need this. Okay so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to pick up four black beads, okay, and I have my four on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work and I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I make it, I show slowly, I go twice through the loop I've made here and I pull then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now what I do is that I go through the following seed bead. And now guys I have this beautiful cross of four beads also called a right angle weave. Okay then I'm taking one green bead. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going in the other black seed bead. Then I will repeat this again. I'm just filling in the gaps with these green beads between my blacks. Okay guys, now I have this. As I exit here through this green bead, in my next step I'm going to take black, green, black. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going through the following seed bead. Okay, then again I'm taking black, green and black. And I go through the following. And I will repeat this two more times. Okay, now I have this. And what I want to do is go again through this bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, this green one that's sticking out the most. There are four of them. And now in this step, I'm going to take black, green, black, green, black. Okay, this is what I'm taking now. And as I'm exiting from this green uh, bead, I'm going in the other green.
and then again black green black green black okay here is what I have and I'm going in the other green and I'm going to repeat these guys two more times Okay guys, and I have this and in my next step, I want to go here. Now through this black bead that is sticking out the most and I'm going to take black, green, black. Okay, here is what I'm taking. And I go back like this. Around this angle black bead then i go through the black and through the following uh, sorry through the green and through the following black so i'm going through two beads green and black and i'm exiting here and now what i want to do is again black green black and this time as i'm exiting here i'm skipping the green one and I'm going through the following black. Now I have this. Then again, my goal is to exit out of this black at the angle, which is sticking out the most. And here I need black, green, black. Okay, here it is. Go back. Then again, I go through the green and through the following black. And I'm going to take black, green, black. I skip the green and I go through the black after that. Okay, now I'm going to continue this until the end. And now what I'm going to pick up are three red beads like this and I'm going through the following green. Then again I want to take three, go through the following. Then again Okay, and I'm going to do this until the end. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next row I'm going to add orange beads. How I do this, I go through the first red bead here and I'm going to pick up five orange beads. Okay, I have my five beads here 
and as I'm exiting through this red, I'm skipping the one in the center and I'm going in the following red. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I'm going through the green and through the next red one and I pull. And I'm going to pick up again five orange beads. I skip uh, the, the red that's coming on my way, the middle of the tree. And I go through the next red, through the green and through the following red in one movement because in this way I save time. And then I need five more orange. Okay, here are five. And again, I skip uh, the red one that's on my way, the middle red. And I go through the following red, green, red, just to save time. Okay, and I think you got the idea. And you could do this by yourself until the end. And I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and these are the last five orange beads that I'm adding here. Just like this. And in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction through all of the beads. And I want to exit here through two orange beads. And I'm next to the bead that is sticking out the most of my five orange beads and now I'm going to take five more orange beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm skipping here the top, the bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going in the following orange. Now I'm going to take red, black and red this is what I have on my needle and I'm going in the same place through this bead that is next to the one that's sticking out the most or through the second orange counting from here. Okay, and now I'm going to take five orange beads. Okay, five. I skip the top and I go through the following C bead. Then again, I need orange, black, sorry, not orange, but red, black and red, okay. And I go in the same bead, second orange counting from the center, one bead away from the, the one that's sticking out the most. And I need five, five. Red, black, red. Okay, and in this way I'm going to finish this row and meet you here. See you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last red, black and red. And pay attention where you add it at the same place here in the second orange beads counting from the center okay now what i want to do is go through the following two orange beads and i'm going to pick up five yellows okay five i skip the one at the top and i go through the following okay i have this now I'm going to pick up three yellow beads and I'm going here in the middle black bead. Okay, then again three yellows and I go here in the orange that is next to the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take five yellows. Okay, five. I skip the one at the top and go through the following. And I have this. And don't worry, guys, that it will bend and move here at this stage because in the next row, we will put a bit here that will hold it straight. 
Okay, so now I'm going to pick up three yellows and I'm going here in the black. Then again, three. And I'm going here in the orange, which is next to the one that's sticking out. And I need five. And skip the top one that is sticking out and go through the following. Then again, three and three. And I think you got the idea and you will be able to make this by yourself until the end. If you doubt how I'm making it, just rewind the video, see the steps and repeat them until the end. Okay, I'll meet you here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last bit from this row. And now guys, what I want to do is go through all of the beads in this direction. I'm exiting here through two of the yellow beads of the three that I added. Remember here I added three, then three, and I'm exiting through two of them. And um, I want to take one black bead and I'm exiting here through the second of these three. Okay, this is what I have. Okay, and now as I'm exiting here through this yellow, what I'm going to pick up are three yellows and one orange bead. And I'm going to slide those down. Then I will skip this orange and I will go through the following yellow, just like this. Now I have this and I'm going to pick up one yellow bead and I'm going here through this yellow. Okay, and now I'm going to take four beads three yellows and one orange. I'm going to slide those down. I'm skipping here the orange and going through the following yellow. And I pull. Then I need two yellow beads. And I go here through this bead that's just under the one that's sticking out the most. Okay, now I have this. This is a symmetrically shaped element. Then I need two yellow beads and one orange. Slide down. Skip the orange and go through the following yellow. Then I'm going to take two yellows and I'm going in the middle of these three yellow beads that I added in my previous step. Okay. Now here what I need is one black bead and I'm going here in the central of these three beads that I added in my previous step. Okay, here you might want to fix these beads to stay in a nice shape. And now I'm going to repeat the whole thing one more time and then I'll let you do this by yourself because it's all the same all the time. Okay, I take three yellows and one orange. I slide all of those down. I go through the central one. Uh, not through the central one, but to the second one of these beads. I'm skipping the orange and I'm pulling my thread 
okay this is what I have then I'm going to take just one yellow and I'm going here in the same place one yellow away from the one at the top okay then it comes the second step where I take four beads three yellows and one orange okay this is what I have slide those down go through the second uh, of these beads or just skip the orange skip the last one now take two yellows and go symmetrically in the same place through the bead that is next to the one that's sticking out the most and now you have this now in my next step you see what I should take two yellows and one orange okay slide those down skip the orange and go through the following yellow you see where okay and then take two more yellows go in the same place through the middle yellow of the tree that I added in my previous step and then pull and then take just one black bead and go through the middle bead here of the tree that I added in my previous step okay then I pull and you could fix those beads to stay in a better shape okay guys and this is absolutely the same thing and I will repeat it over and over and if you want you could rewind the video and repeat these steps everywhere and I'll meet you here okay guys and I just finished this row and now what I want to do is exit here out of this bead I want to reposition my thread okay here I am and don't worry that at this stage your work bends like this with the, the next row and win one trick that I'll tell you at the end you will be able to fix this problem okay I need yellow black and yellow also if you don't use monofilament but nylon thread I don't think it will bend that much so you could try this one as well okay so I'm exiting here through the second yellow counting from the orange and I'm going in the same place adding yellow black yellow okay then what I want to do is reposition my thread again in this direction okay and I want to add again yellow black yellow okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row and as i promised i'll tell you a trick how to make this not bend you just put a cotton cloth on it and iron it and that's how it will go straight in a straight um, shape uh, now i'm going to show you how to finish it and adding your earring finding okay i'm exiting through this yellow here that is next to the yellow that's sticking out the most and i'm going to take three green beads then i'm going to take my earring finding 
I will go through it and slide all of those down. Okay, and I'm going to take three more green beads and I'm going in the same place here through this yellow that is under the yellow and the orange that stick out the most. Then I want to arrange my earring finding here in the middle. Okay, like this. And now I want to reinforce this joint. Okay, and after I'm ready with the reinforcements, I will go and make a knot. I will choose a place, let's say here at this inner edge, and how I'm making a knot. I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I might want to make more and more knots and when I make the last knot I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and now my big sunshine earrings are ready Okay guys, and now my large sunshine seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, with my new tutorials. Down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much you help me only with this action. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.